Ah, the 70s emissions controls, financial crises, and oil shocks weren't enough to keep the automotive industry down in the 1970s. The beginning of the decade saw some of the most powerful cars that Detroit ever produced, but the Malays era hit the United States in 1973 and automotive innovation died for about a decade. Europe and Japan duly entered the American market like never before with attractive, sporty cars that still manage to be economical. These are some of the coolest cars of the 1970s. 1970 Ford Mustang Boss 302, created by famed Ford designer Larry Shinoda, a Boss 302 driven by Parnelli Jones won the 1970 Trans M Championship. That is some serious cred. 1970 Ford Escort MKI The stellar reputation of the dog bone escort, so called because of the shape of its grill was made when it won the London to Mexico World Rally Cup in 1970. The course was approximately 16,000 miles long and took over a month to complete. 1970 Dodge Challenger TA, the Challenger TA, another Trans Am car, came standard with a functional hood scoop, side pipes, and a high-performance 340 cubic inch V8 with three two-barrel carburetors. 1970 Mercedes-Benz C1112, the C1111 series were research vehicles designed to the bleeding edge of automotive technology. The C1112 had a four-rotor wankel producing 370 horsepower under the hood, a classic 70s wedge shape, and stunning good looks. 1971 Buick Riviera, the Buick Riviera was completely redesigned for 1971, and the flowing lines and pointed boat tail made it an instant classic. 1972 Datsun 240Z G Police Patrol, in 1972, the fastest Japanese car was the top of the line 240Z G with a top speed of 130 mph. This particular car saw service as a highway patrol for the Kanagawa Prefecture beginning in March of 1972, making it even cooler. 1973 Nissan Skyline HT 2000 GTR The Skyline GTR is a performance icon, coveted the world over. The second generation, the 2000 GTR was released in January of 1973 but, due to tightening emissions regulations, only 197 were sold. 1973 Graham's Motor Home, while it doesn't count as a car, the complete and utter 1970s magnificence of a disco orange, front-wheel drive motor home earned a place here. 1974 Jeep Cherokee, the first generation of Jeep Cherokee was aimed at a younger market than the four-door family-oriented Wagoneer. Base models had a 4.2-liter six-cylinder, but 5.9 and 6.6-liter .6 V8S were options. 1974 Porsche 911 Carrera RSR, even by Porsche standards, the RSR 3.0-liter is coveted. The 74 weighed just 1,850 pounds and had 280 horsepower allowing it to sprint to 60 in just 5.6 seconds. Top speed was 178 mile per hour. 1975 BMW 3 Series The iconic BMW 3 Series was launched in 1975. Compact and muscular, the new coupe had all the sporting charisma the brand was known for. 1975 BMW 3.0 CSL 1975 saw the lightweight 3.0 CSL homologation special where the iconic red, purple and blue of BMW Motorsport for the first time. The cars won Sebring, Riverside, Laguna Seca, Daytona and Talladega that year. 1976 Lotus Esprit the gorgeous Esprit featured Giugiaro styling and brilliant handling. It was a first-generation Esprit that transformed into a submarine in the James Bond movie The Spy Who Loved Me. 1977 model shown. 1976 Ferrari 308 GTB. Ferrari's eight-cylinder Berlinetta was designed by Pininfarina and was first bodied in fiberglass before production switched over to steel. An aggressive cam and lack of emissions equipment make the 1976-77 models especially thrilling. 1977 Alfa Romeo GTV, 
design legend Giorgetto Giugiaro penned the striking Alfa Romeo GTV, giving it a place in history. It was modern, elegant, and sporting when it was released in 1974. 1977 saw a minor cosmetic refresh and engine size increased to 2.0 liters. 1977 Pontiac Firebird Type K concept, Pontiac missed the boat by not producing this awesome cam back wagon version of its popular Firebird. Instead, it took the road that led to the Aztec and its eventual demise. 1978 Lamborghini Countach LP400, the first series Countach, the LP400, debuted in 1974 and continued until 1978. Featuring clean Bertoni design uncluttered by spoilers or wheels flares, the spectacular car stood just 42 inches tall. A longitudinal V12, longitudinale posteriori, or LP, put out 375 horsepower. 1978 Chevrolet Camaro Z28 the Z28 got its quintessential look in 1978 with a fake hood scoop and optional T-tops. Unfortunately, it could only manage a wheezy 185 horsepower from a 5.7-liter V8, but it looked cool doing it. 1979 Jeep CJ7 Golden Eagle The late 1970s was the most prolific time of hood graphics in history. The Jeep Golden Eagle hit a 5.0-liter V8 under its splashy hood and a later model would be driven by Daisy Duke. 1979 GMC Caballero, the thinking man's El Camino, the Caballero was identical to the Chevy but much cooler. Just look at the graphics. 1979 BMW M1 Group 4 Rod Checker, painted by Andy Warhol, the BMW M1 was designed by legend Giorgetto Giugiaro and introduced in 1978. This 1979 Group 4 racing version was painted by Andy Warhol as part of the BMW Art Car Project. There could not be a more fitting way to both mark and end the decade. 